Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Electrical Concepts. My name is Avigyan Roy. So in this video lecture, I am going to talk about methods of neutral grounding. So in my previous video lecture, I have discussed the solidly ground system and I have also analyzed how the arcing ground phenomena can be prevented using the grounding neutral concept. In this video lecture, we are going to look at the rest of the grounding te techniques like resistance grounding, reactants and the finally the Peterson coil grounding. So in resistance grounding, it is used normally to limit the magnitude of earth fall current. Here as you can see between neutral and the ground, one resistor is connected. But in case of solid grounding, there was no, no such arrangement. Okay, it is used whenever we want to limit the magnitude of earth fall current. Okay, now the value of your resistance should be neither very low nor very high because if it is very low it will be similar as the solidly grounded case and the fault current will be very large in magnitude but if it is very high then also there is a problem then it will behave as an ungrounded neutral system so there is a chance of arcing ground or all the disadvantages that we have discussed uh, during the uh, arcing ground video chapter okay Third point is neutral is not at earth potential. Unlike solid ground, here due to this resistor, ground and neutral are not at the same potential. System is costlier because you are using one resistor. So definitely system will be costly and also maintenance is required. And large amount of heat energy is going to be produced. Okay, so now in case of resistance grounding, unlike solid grounding, here the fault current will not be in exactly 90 degree lag with respect to the phase voltage VNB because of the resistance. Okay, so there will be two components because here the fault current is not exactly 90 degree lagging. So that fault current can be divided into two components. So see here current is flowing. So now let's draw the flow, how the current is going to flow. So this is the direction of fault current. Okay. And through this path, the capacitive current will also flow and it will come this side. Okay. And these are the individual currents, IR and IY. Okay. And it will directly come back to the respective healthy phase. All right. So now this fault current is not exactly 90 degree lagging with respect to this voltage V and B unlike the solid ground case. In solid ground it was completely la la lagging by 90 degree because there was no resistive part but here due to the resistive part this IF will lag the V and B by, uh, by an angle which is less than 90 degree okay which is less than 90 degree so definitely this if will have two components all right one component suppose if1 and if2 so one component will be exactly in phase opposition with this ic with this ic suppose if1 is in exact phase opposition with ic okay so these two components will nullify each other so if if1 and I, ic completely nullify each other then only if2 will be left and that will be the final fault current that will be the final fault current that will flow through the circuit final fault current okay so that is an overall idea of resistance grounding now let's discuss the reactance grounding so in reactance grounding the only difference is instead of a resistor one reactor is connected here but uh, due to the disadvantage like the high transient voltage it is rarely used because you are using a reactor or you are using an inductor basically so obviously the, it is the property of the inductor it will definitely oppose the sudden change in system because suddenly fault whenever happens 
there's a huge change in fault current magnitude so as a result that reactance ground the reactor will oppose this huge change which further results in a high transient voltage so now we'll discuss about resonant grounding or peterson coil grounding so peterson coil grounding is somewhat like this so here there's a facility of tapping okay so by varying the tapping we can change the value of reactance so if the value of reactance can be changed obviously the fall current magnitude can magnitude can be changed okay so it is much more flexible compared to the reactance grounding okay so here also whenever fault happens the fall current will flow through this path okay so in this direction fault current will go and in this direction the capacitive current will go and this is the individual capacitive current all right so the first point is here the basic first advantage is that by varying the tapping you can actually tune the inductance value so the coil inductance is varied in such a way so that il and ic becomes completely equal in magnitude completely equal in magnitude and also they, they will be in phase opposition so these two components will be completely nullified will, will be nullified okay so here actually you have the flexibility you can vary this tapping and also by that you can tune that in reactance in such at such a value so that the il and ic will be completely nullified second point is iron code coil is provided with tapping okay then costlier than other methods because you have you have this tapping arrangement your maintenance is also required okay so now let's draw the phase diagram and let's understand so one more thing here the neutral and the ground they are not shorted i mean they are not at same potential okay and as a result there is a chance that your phase healthy phases may experience a rise in their voltage value okay so it will be clear in the phase diagram this this is the balanced three phase system suppose this is your v r n this is v y n and this is your v b n all right so now this will be your v n b and the resultant component will be like this all right so this component will be your v r b similarly this component will be your what v y b and the respective capacitive currents will be 90 degree leading okay with their individual voltage phase voltages right so as i have said due to the mismatch uh, at the potential level between neutral point and the ground there's a chance that uh, your healthy phases may experience a rise in their voltage values so in worst case scenario let's assume that these healthy phases are experiencing a rise of voltage to its line value that means this phase voltage becomes line voltage itself so this is one line voltage with respect to the r phase and this is the line voltage with respect to the y phase all right so now the capacitive current will be leading 90 degree with respect to this line voltages so this is one capacitive component which is 90 degree leading this is your iy and sorry this is your ir okay and this is this will be your iy all right 90 degree leading so this will be your resultant this will be your resultant and this is the total capacitive current all right so as all i have already mentioned during the fault 
you have to consider the voltage to be VNB because fault is flowing fault current is flowing from neutral point to the point B or the phase B so here you have to consider VNB I have already explained this concept in my previous video lecture okay so you can consider either this or this same thing so with respect to this component your fault current will be la lagging by 90 degree because it is completely an inductive path okay so it will be somewhat like this it is lagging like this or you can draw it here also it is lagging so this is your fault current so this fault current and this capacitive current as you can see they are completely in phase opposition all right this component and this component and you can actually tune this you, know, I, you can actually tune this fault current by varying your tapping that's thus you can vary this reactance and by tuning this component you can actually equate this component with this component so that they can exactly get nullified with each other and no current is left in the system okay so this is the biggest advantage of resonant grounding and this is the best grounding okay so this is the overall idea of resonant grounding i hope you have understood this concept and if you have understood it please like share comment and also subscribe to my channel thank you